Right. Hi everyone, it's just B. <laughs> See what I did there? So, what I'm going to do today is I've decided to go for a nice classic kind of look with a nice big winged liner because I used to wear that every day, now I don't because I'm a little bit boring in my old age and I think a nice classic red lip maybe dewy skin, I was going to do matte skin because I do prefer matte skin with a matte red lip but I found this in my makeup bag that I haven't used in ages um, and it's called liquid chrome highlighter drops and I just really want to play with it so we're going to do dewy skin instead <laughs> um, but yeah I think this nice this is my favourite ever red lipstick it's actually a liquid lipstick if you want to be clients you'll already know this because I've more than likely used it on you it's just Estee Lauder in 303 controversial so we're going to be using all these cool stuff uh, I'm going to pair some tight lashes in number TL10s TL10s um, I think I'll do the skin first and eyes last because I do tend to do that on me and um, whereas on my clients I always do eyes first but I'm not really that bothered if I get fallout because I just keep the powder on us anyway I'm rambling again stop so I'll just get cracking so uh, I know <laughs> wait 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 if you want to go from this to to this So we've already moisturised this. So I've already moisturised the skin. So I'm just going to go straight in with my Smashbox primer in Super Light Smooth and Blur. If you've got gigantic pores, then this will be your little friend. And you don't need to be as vigorous as this. I don't know why I'm rushing. I've got all day. You know, if my sister was in the room right now, she'd go, you not rushing, you British. Because <laughs> I jokes are just top class. Anyway, stop rambling. Foundation. I will have to apologise. I've lost my little lid for my Fenty Beauty foundation, but this is in the shade. I'm so sorry, I don't know. This is the Fenty Beauty foundation. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to get that on a brush. Let the hair back and the double chins come out. Fantastic. And I do like the full coverage, so I'm going to go on a big Real Techniques brush. You can see I've already loaded the brush with it. And instead of like um, swiping all the time, I, I like to add a little bit of pattern as well. So a lot of makeup artists do say, you know, start from the centre. Um, I know Lisa Eldridge when I was watching her on this morning. TV show one time she was like you always want to start from the center that's not true if you've got normal skin start from the center that's absolutely fine if you've got problem area skin start with a problem area then work your way up so I'm gonna focus most of my foundation in my problem areas which is here I get a lot of hormonal blemishing blemishing blemishes <laughs> Where are you going with Benjamin? Um, so I'm going to start from here and work my way up because the centre of my face doesn't need that much. I've got a few freckles and stuff like that but I don't mind them. They're my friends. Freckles are friends. Not enemies, you know what I mean? So anyway, I'll stop rambling. Sorry about that. Anyway. Right, moving on to concealer. I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour in NW30 and also a little bit of Revolution Conceal and Hydrate in C6. This one I just used to brighten a little bit under their little baggies. Oh. And these are just my personal concealers. Before anyone freaks out, I do have clients and I do have a separate kit. So for instance, I've got this red here that I use on myself. I've got a different one that I use on my clients, but I'm running out. So I do have a new one ready for when that little sucker dies on us. Um, just so people don't get freaked out and be like, oh my God, she's not using this spoolie. Um, the other day when I did a video, I did use the mascara that I use on my clients. So I had to use a spoolie, but other than that, everything's mine. Right, then I'm just going to blend this little bad lad out. Then I'm going to try this little 
liquid chrome bit of crap that I was talking about earlier. See if it really works. I'll just squeeze some onto me little, me lush little pewee dish that Jordan bought us. Look, you can even put your little finger in it or your thumb. Oi, oi. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't as graceful as I thought, but what have you. Ah, I got me bloody thumb stuck and all. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's really good. So then I think I'm just going to use what God gave us and try that a on a little bit. Oh, it's cute. Anyone that's had the makeup done by me at MAC before um, will know that that is one of my favourite brushes, a MAC 170. Mine's absolutely me and I do have a new one, but that one works so good. Just because it doesn't look so nice on the outside, it still works a treat, so I'm not ready to give them up yet, sorry. But everyone will know that I absolutely love a 170 brush. Um, I always joke on saying it's like a sponge in a brush form, so it's like a brush. Or a brunge. Nah, well just, it's just a, it's a nice brush that, it's kind of like a sponge. But it just really like, um, blends all the products really nicely and melts it into your skin. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Anyway, going in with the same brush. Bit of Revolution Banana Powder. Oi, oi. I'm just going to set under my eyes. Right. <gasps> gotcha. Then with a PC 24 brush by Peaches and Cream, I'm just gonna go in with the same old NC30 by MAC. And the Studio Fix powder. Yeah, I'll tell you what. It might be a bit light for us actually, this. You see, even though I've powdered, and I do powder, quite a lot because I have oily skin. You can still see that little bit of highlight. Yes, can you see it? Ah! I feel like I know highlighters can't sing, but like if they could, I just feel like that's what they would sound like, so. Then I'm gonna grab me bronzer, Dark Tan by Mike Azizia. A little bit in this cheek. A little bit in this cheek. A little bit on the snack snack. Ina, I'm sorry like, but this Fenty foundation, like what? That, oh God, I look like a model. God, that is worth every penny. Do you know where that Jordan went and bought us that as a Christmas present? And he guessed the colour and everything and I just, it's perfect. What a little dream. What a little dream boat sitting on a poached egg. Right, so I think I'll do a little bit of blusher now. But I do love like a bronzy glow rather than a bright white highlight. And this is Gold Deposit by MAC. Because if I do fancy looking a bit dewy, Lord himself knows. This is what I'll wear. This doesn't have a mirror. I don't know why I'm not going to know it. I'm just going to guess it. Me mum absolutely hates highlight on people's nose. This one's for you, Janice. I don't mind it, I think it looks sorry. So jumping straight in with the eyeshadow, what I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Born to Run. <laughs> yep, this palette was so made for me. It's actually one of my favorite palettes, it's well loved. I don't actually like any of the Urban Decay naked palettes. Sorry, Urban Decay, I love you, but I don't like your naked palettes. But I love this palette. Um, My friends Anna and Brittany got it as a present uh, for me 21st, which was like two years ago, and I still use it all the time, it's lush. So, rambling again. I think I'm gonna be pretty basic with the eyeshadow because I want the focus to be on the liner, the lashes, and the lip. So the eyeshadow is just gonna be a little bit but we'll still do some, we'll still do some. I've got hooded eyes, so <laughs> I need to do something. So I'll go in with Riff, which is kind of like 
maybe a little bit darker than my bronzer. I'll put a little bit more of this powder underneath. So I'm going in with a nice big fluffy brush there as you can see. And then I'm going to go in with a smaller peaches and cream, this is PC37, and I'm going to go in with the shade Punk. Then you want to grab a little touch of your concealer, I'm just going to put that on my new palette. Thanks, Jordan. Pop a little bit on, just to lighten up your mobile lid a little bit. Doesn't have to be neat. If you are, if it was a cut crease, you would literally have to hold your breath. It's that intense. You're like, like veins coming out your neck and everything because you're like, don't mess it up. Whereas this, just be quite messy because it doesn't have to be perfect. That'll do. Now that you've popped a little bit of concealer and lighten things up on your mobile lid, you just want to go in with a nice matte, doesn't have to be matte, any colour you want. I'm just going to use a nice kind of beigey nude, neutral, but like a really light one, and just go over that concealer. And then just blend the edges with that first colour that we ever used on the eye, which is Riff. So for liner a day, instead of using a black, I've decided to use a dark brown. Um, I've got green eyes, so dark browns do really help bring them out. Um, so if you've got green eyes, just give it a try and let us know what you think. Obviously, if you want to leave your liner like that, that's absolutely fine. I usually have it like this every day, but with a red lip, I don't know. I just like a winged liner and I do like it quite big, so bear with me. Right, a little bit of mascara. Oh, you can hold it. Right, so I know I already showed you in the introduction, I'm gonna use Tatty Lashes, TL10s. I think they're absolutely stunning. So I'll just pop them on for you dead quickly. Right, so lashes are all nice and glued. I'm just gonna pop them on. Right, so lashes are on. Um, I'm gonna do my brows off camera because I know that can be a little bit boring, so be with you in a jiffy. That's right. So, finishing touches, I'm gonna get a little brush and a little bit of highlight e shade somewhere and just pop that in the inner corners. Make it nice and bright. To finish, I'm gonna go in with Brick Pencil by MAC. And then, Star of the Show, Estee Lauder. Controversial, I always forget the name considering I love it too much. It literally glides on like a little peach on a bus. And it doesn't dry, you know how some matte lipsticks go flaky, this one doesn't. Right, 
and that is the finished look thanks so far thanks so far you know one of these days i'll learn to speak english <laughs> so if you've made it this far thank you so much for watching i really 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 do appreciate it like i don't want to go all sentimental but i tell you what it means the world so i'll just finish with a little bit max fix plus spray in coconut because it makes us feel like I'm on a little quarantined desert in the sun. <laughs> See what I did there? Anyway, that's a bit rude, so I, did, I didn't mean to make jokes. Um, but yeah, that's the finished look, so thanks so much for watching. I quite like it. I'll show you. Anyway, thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Oi, oi. See you then. What should I do? Give us some ideas, because <laughs> I'm not like, you know. Like, psychic. I don't know what you want to say. Anyway, see you soon. Thanks. Ah, oh, this is fucking hot. <laughs>